Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade module eight, lesson six. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue playing with shapes. They're gonna continue using all of that academic vocabulary about the various attributes of all of these shapes, plus the, the names of the shapes, polygons, quadrilaterals, rectangles, etc. We're gonna put it all together and we're gonna be using tangrams as our context. So let's get started. So you gotta love tangrams. Tangrams are kind of fun, they're totally fun. Oh, I think they're ancient Chinese puzzle, I think is the is the legend. That's probably true, because, uh, but I don't know. Anyway, so here's your tangrams. Let's get rid of this one, because we don't need it. Uh, so anyway, so here's your, your tangrams, and these pieces are great, man. We want to let our students play with these tangram pieces. In fact, teachers, there's there's one element that's kind of fun. You could give them the pieces in an envelope and say, now put it together and make a square. Um, or uh, there's, and there, that's a legitimate way to kind of teach about tangrams. Another idea is you can give it to them completed, not cut out yet. And then you can... Um, basically walk the students through how to cut this um, to make a tangram. The idea is step one, you cut it in half, and when you cut it in half, you get kind of like this triangle, and you get this triangle, and then you take this triangle and cut it in half, and now you've got two quarters and those triangles, and then this piece right here, this actually is the harder part. And one idea is you take this corner and you fold it over to the center. And when you fold it over to the center, you have created a line, a crease here, and then you can cut that off. And that gives you, uh, now you are left with this trapezoid. And then you can fold it in half and cut it in half, and then when you do, you're gonna get this half here and this half here. And then the idea is uh, this guy, you can fold this corner down to this corner, and that gives you a crease and you can cut it in half. And then this guy, you take this corner and you bring it down to the, this corner, and then you can cut it in half. And so there is, um, I don't know, one way is teachers, you can do all the cutting for the students, put it in an envelope and say, all right, guys, put it back and make a square. Or there's another way that you can do it where you give it to them as a square and you walk through the whole process of how to cut it up and make it into your individual pieces. It's kind of fun either way. The point is, Lots of academic vocabulary when you're talking about these figures like parallelogram, triangles, squares, and big triangles and small triangles, etc. So here we're just practicing our academic vocabulary. It says identify each polygon. Well, there's an academic vocabulary word right there, uh, labeled in and in and. Uh, each polygon labeled in the tangram as precisely as possible. So the idea is, what is this shape right here, this A right here? Well, that is our parallelogram. What I love about this tangram is it's in a different orientation than the tangram I was showing on the previous slide. That's actually kind of cool. And then B, well, where's B? Well, there's B, and what is B? Well, B appears to be basically a Triangle, so we can write that down. That's a triangle. And then C, where's C? There's C, and what is C? Of course, C is a square. So there you go. Uh, we've been using all of the academic vocabulary in class, and now we can use it again in homework. So this is really fun. This is where the problem-solving aspect of mathematics comes in. It says use the square and the two triangles, so I did that for all four of these, uh, of your tangram pieces to make up the following polygons. So it says to build a triangle 
with one square corner. All right, so we're gonna take these shapes and move them around and rotate them and do whatever we need to do to create a triangle with one square corner. So, and this is where you just let your kids play and have fun and I don't know, it looks like I, I'm gonna get it right on my first try, but you know, second graders aren't gonna get it on their first try. And you can see here's my triangle with a square corner right there. Uh, there might be other ways to get this answer, but I just found one way. We're gonna slide over and it says now we're supposed to create a quadrilateral with four square corners. So quadrilateral means it's got four sides and these four square corners means it's gotta have four right angles. So let's see, let's say I got a square here. Now, if I do this, so let me put that guy there and let me put this guy here. Now I have a quadrilateral, one side, two, three, four. So I've created a quadrilateral, but have I created four square corners? Nope, that's not a square corner. That's not a square corner. None of these are square corners. So I created a quadrilateral, but it is definitely not having four square corners. But if I take this triangle, scooch it over here, rotate it, wha-bam! I now have a quadrilateral with four square corners. So that's the idea. I don't need to solve the rest of these problems. Uh, but parents and teachers, just let your students play. Let your students grapple with the vocabulary, keeping all of the vocabulary together as they are problem solving. So here we are being asked to rearrange the parallelogram, woohoo, and the two smallest triangles to make a hexagon. So the idea is we have to remember, well, what is a hexagon? Hexagon has that X, so it has six sides. So we know that we're gonna try and use these pieces to create a six-sided figure. Oh my goodness, a six-sided figure. I don't know how to, let's see. Um, let's see, I'm trying to <laughs> move stuff around because my, my, there, go, lock, move, don't, Quit moving, okay. <laughs> and then, all right, now we're good, now we're good. So now we got these figures and we want to move them around and we're gonna try and create a hexagon. So let's see. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of goofing around and trying here or something, let's see. So did I create a hexagon? Let's see. Well, a hexagon has supposed to have six sides. So one, two, three, four, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five. Darn. So that's not six sides, is it? So we gotta keep trying. Uh, what if I move this guy here? Does that make six sides? I think it does, actually. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, there's one, one way to get it. I have no idea if that's what they were expecting as an answer, but I just created a six-sided polygon, a hexagon. And the last one, there's really no need for me to do all the work. Basically, we're gonna rearrange these tangram pieces, and it doesn't say you have to use all the pieces each time, to make at least six other polygons. So, the idea would be, oh, let's say I take the little one and um, let's do this one. And I can put this together. And what do I have now? Let's see, I have a one, two, three, four. I have a quadrilateral, all right? So I just made a quadrilateral. And the idea is just let your students play and moving these shapes around to make whatever kind of polygons they want to make. And that wraps up 
second grade, module eight, lesson six, our students are playing with a tangram to practice all of that academic vocabulary of geometry.